This is a short video on using the desk mat in Keyboard Render Kit. Uh, let's go into Accessories and turn it on. And the first thing you'll notice is that, uh, well, you can't see it. That's because the floor is there, and both of them are at uh, zero, ground zero. So let's uh, hit G, Z, and uh, minus three, and we'll we'll get underneath that. We'll move the floor underneath the desk mat, and that's probably the way you should do it. Otherwise, you're going to end up moving everything else. So let's uh, uh, let's go ahead and do something with this. Um, there's a default material applied, a uh, default uh, texture, and it tells you what the dimensions are, 900 millimeters by 400 millimeters, which is typical. Uh, what you can do then is select it and uh, look at the material. And here we have deskmat.png, which is the, the thing that's telling it 900 by 400, and there is a node group here that gives it the bump. If you just zoom way in, you'll see a bit of a pattern there. And this pattern is uh, the the uh, desk mat UV is not tied to the object, so we can we can uh, scale the mesh and not scale the uh, the UV the texture itself. Uh, that that's so that you can bring in your own images and it'll fit. So, for example, let's let's uh, switch this over to uh, another one I have here, and it's actually a little bigger. So, if we grab the the mesh and we scale it, we'll see it goes further. But uh, usually, you don't need to do that. That that's in case. Uh, what I've done here is trimmed off a couple of millimeters off here for the um, uh, for the stitching to be there and. Uh, if you want it to go full bleed, you can without the without the stitching at all, and you could scale that up, but uh, that's not really needed. And uh, the stitching itself is separate, and it has its own material. And uh, by default, you can just go in and give it a color to try and match. Uh, try and match your your um, image texture material, your, your image texture color. Or if you want it to be full bleed, you can uh, switch this over to the same, the same texture and just connect that to, connect that to the the node group. And what the node group does is it, it knows to assign that texture uh, to the stitching as well. So you can have a full bleed uh, texture for the stitching. And um, you've got these little bits on the edge here that's all handled for you and then it just plugs the uh, plugs in the color and uh, really that's it for the for the desk mat it's very simple um, let's go ahead and switch out the floor to something more interesting like uh, I don't know wood wood three or wood four yeah that'll do and uh, you'll also notice that that's too high so we'll have to move it down GZ three minus and, and there we go our texture sitting on the floor our, our desk mat sitting on the floor and we've got a keyboard on it let's have a look ta-da okay that's it thank you